Welcome, everybody. I am Sir Manson. Today, we did something crazy. We bought a package. The package contains a ship that I've been looking for, or looking at for a long time. And that ship is... This one. We bought the UEE Exploration package. What does it contain then? Well, the Karak Expedition, a ship I've been looking at for a long time. It's a big ship. It's a, it's a cruise ship with quarters uh, and uh, living spaces and stuff like that, and which is a something that I wanted for a long time. It also includes the C8X Piscus, the Tumblr Cycle, the Terrapin, Drake Dragonfly, and the free Freelancer Dur. So, in this video, we will be taking a tour of the Karak Expedition. I know there's a lot of videos out there. So let this be your 2022 Karak Expedition tour guide, or whatever you want to call it. And then we're going to see if we can fit the C8X Piscus into the Karak. I've never done anything like that, taking out two ships and fit one and the other. I don't know. I don't even know how to do it. I guess you leave one in space and then you pick out the other one. I don't know. We're going to try it. Maybe also try to uh, fit in the tumbler. I know there is a... Uh, you can fit this in the front. And you can fit the uh, Piscus on the on, on the well the ship bay so to speak and i've never tried it so it's uh it's gonna be a experiment for my part so without further ado let's uh introduce the Karak expedition all right ladies and gentlemen we have arrived hangar 19. Look at that. Biggest ship I have ever owned. Start with a, an exterior tour. Look at those engines. Wow. The ship is huge. Little turret. These landing feet. Holy moly. Beautiful ship. And there's the cockpit. Hmm. Is the ramp? Ramp pointing forward. I actually like that. You can park the ship looking at what you're supposed to uh, travel to instead of having to turn the ship around which I do sometimes so we can open the, the ramp I believe we can also use a kind of uh, a elevator or something I don't know what's this maybe you can't maybe it's just the ramp Any stowaways? Hello? No. Okay. Let's open the ramp. This is a beautiful ship. I wanted this for a long time.
little cargo hold, or we can place a vehicle here. Cool. We got. I think there's a. Uh, There's a brake wrap. Let's close up. Take a look at how what it looks like from the inside. Very nice. All right. Let's take a tour, guys. So there's a door. Open door. What is this? Oh. Okay, that's a ladder. What's this then? This doesn't do anything? No. So this is a ladder. Is this direct access to top floor? Gonna find out. Okay, it's a direct access to the landing bay. Very cool. And there's the elevator. So, okay. So it's a ladder that takes you directly to that very top floor. We're gonna head down again. And uh, start the tour from the, from down below. Can you access ladders without falling? Yeah. yeah. There's no... Yeah, there was a quick way down. Okay. Cool. Is there an elevator as well? I thought maybe this was an elevator access, but apparently not. Back at the bay, let's take a look. What do we have in here? Sub deck. Oh, elevator. And storage. There is an airlock. Let's uh let's see. So you can get out fast. But you cannot get in fast without using the ramp. Cool. Okay. Is this for suits and stuff, I guess? Or is this like a cryo bay? Is it like a shower? No. I don't know what this is. I guess it's some kind of storage. Since you... Then you are able to move out through the uh, through the airlock so yeah it's probably some kind of storage does it open everything at the same time? no but you can no you can't fit in here no I can't open this no So this is probably for uh, uniforms and stuff like that. Whatever. Let's move on. So this was to the elevator. We're gonna wait a little while for that. It's a cargo base. Even there are several of these, three or four. And you have access to oh, cargo pod. So you can go down to the cargo pod. You can just fill this up with cargo. I don't know what, what kind of cargo, but at least we have a good amount of uh, cargo space, right? And three... Three uh, cargo base, okay. There's more of these storages. I wonder what they are. Is a door? 
Okay, there's weapon racks. So they, these are for, uh, for uh, uniforms and clothes. That's the weapon rack. It's the same here. Very symmetrical. I love it. We go left. There's the front uh, or the back turret, I guess. The one with that we were up sniffing at. Yeah. Cool. And we entered from here, so we go out this way. Everything is symmetrical. Dude, I like this a lot. So, all right. This elevator. Call. Yeah. Right. So we're at the sub deck. Let's head up to the habitation deck. This was where we went when we uh, went up the ladder. Habitation deck. Okay. So, reminder that we are at the back of the ship, moving forward through the habitation deck. Nothing here. What's this in here? I can't see anything. Alright, so a door that leads to deck two. If we go right, let's go left. Same window. And we come to deck two. Again, symmetrical. Medical bay. Nice. Okay. Maybe I can heal. I have low health. He's operational. Wait, I believe that you can actually set your spawn to your ship, can't you? I'm gonna try this. So that you guys know and I know because I am really tired at spawning at Olisar. Okay, let's see. Region. Yes. You can set your imprint on the Karak. Gotta do that. Transfer imprint to Anvil Karak Expedition by confirming you agree that upon death you will be regenerated at this facility. To select a different facility, please visit that location to authorize and transfer. I'm gonna confirm. Current regen location, Anvil Karak. Nice. Hello? Oh, it's a little hard to hit. Medical care. Injuries. 100. That's not true, though. Admin, what can we do? Remove all imprints. Okay, you can remove your imprint. Okay. I was not able to heal though. If anyone knows how to actually heal. Oh, what did I do? But yeah, if anyone knows how to actually heal on the med base, please let me know. Or did I actually heal? I think I actually heal. Auto heal. And you got a little medical admin section. And the same to the left. No, it's a little storage. Okay. Cool. Again, very symmetrical. This, uh, the Karak is now our home. I like it. Okay, let's see. To the right we have pool room, game room, I guess, and the mass hall. So let's take a look at this first. Got some ship statistics. We cannot open anything there, no. This 
is very cool. You can sit down here and eat. Yes, you can. Quick food, nice. Quick food, fast food, whatever. And this is the outside, so you can actually watch space. The stars and quantum while you are eating. Very nice. And then we go in here. There's a little game room. Is it functional? Can we... No, we cannot. It's not functional. It's for looks only. What do we have in here? Toilet. Big toilets. Very nice. I'm a vampire. Is it... It's just toilets? No showers? Here's the bunk beds. Very nice. So, we have room for this storage. I believe this is storage. Yes. Uh, one, two, three, four, five crew members. And there's the showers. Very nice. Five crew members and then the captain on this. There's something as well on the other side. We didn't check that. So this is the crew quarters, basically. When you enter to the right. It's actually, it says so there, crew quarters and mess hall. There's no doors anywhere else. What do we have here? It's just another elevator. So what do we have here? Captain's... Captain's dorm. Alright. These are my quarters then. Nice. I have a little view out on the outside as well. There's my bed and my teddy bear. And my toilet and shower. Very nice. And some storage. Cool. Rich. And another elevator. It's going to take a while to learn all these elevators. But I believe the bridge is... There's a bridge and then there's a pilot station. But yeah, this is the pilot seat, I guess. Maybe not a pilot station. There's a uh, there's something up there as well. Cool pilot. Is this no function? Yeah. Cool pilot. Okay. What's this? Fuel? I guess. Okay, this elevator leads to the other bridge. Upper bridge. Let's go to the top floor then. Upper bridge, yes. What do we have? Port seat. So these are like weapons. Yeah, gunner seat. Some kind of a map room. And... Command station. Hopefully you can fly this solo. Take a look. Escape pods. So we're at the top floor now. Uh, 
Uh, let's keep heading forward. We have another elevator with access to... Technical deck, hibernation deck, and sub deck. And here's the landing bay. Let's go right. Nothing special. And if we have went to the left, it looks exactly the same. Again, very symmetrical. And turret. Very nice little entrance here. Looks very futuristic. I like it. Oh, these are the side turrets. Can I not go in? Yeah, it's just a little, little tough to get in there. So we have uh, two side turrets. Be able to try these when we are out in space. Having a quick flight. Flight to tour. Can you actually close these? Looks like say it's a airlock or something. No. Alright. Then we have here as well. No? What's this? This is like an engineering room. Yeah, engineer. So there's actually a fully working engineer. Upper engineering and lower engineering. Dude, this ship is huge. So you would be able to play as an engineer, even. You'll think? It's another fuel tank, then, I guess. Yeah. Lots of fuel. Then a ladder up to upper engineering. What do we have in here? Oh, I don't know what it is, but... And back up on upper engineering. Yeah. This is where we looked out. Turret. Landing bay. Elevator. Alright, so wait. Left turret. Right turret. Engineering. engineering. Alright, so again, very symmetrical. Yeah, I believe that's it. Let's take a look at the landing bay. Or hangar bay. Quick enough. I love how symmetrical the ship is. This was opened from the front. Yes. 
Blue door retraction. What is that up there? Have you been up there? No, we haven't. I wonder if you can actually walk on the deck while it's closed. Oh, elevator. Oh, it's the technical deck, probably. Cartography deck. Oh, we're on technical deck now. So there's three and a half floor, probably. Oh, oh wow, okay. This working? Okay, I did something. It's not functional. Exit. Not even on it. So yeah, this is just for the looks right now. We did have doors. It's this escape pod. And more storage. Air lock. And the same thing here, escape pod and airlock and storage. Okay. Oh, you can, you can actually go out on the deck. That's that's so cool. Yeah. Dude, this is so cool. You can actually use this like a... a sunroof or something just relax on top of the ship this is awesome but, yeah can we open before well we can open before it's closed that's not a good airlock Yeah, very cool. I like it. I like it a lot. But yeah, let's... Uh... So if you want to get to... Uh, the pilot. Habitation deck, then I guess. And the elevator is in the back, so we would have to run through the entire ship. Quarters. That's all. Someone didn't close the door. Hello? Oh. I think the, uh, the cartographer uh, break the doors. Oh. oh, there it is. Weird. Yeah, habitation deck leads to the bridge. Nice. Let's take her out. Beautiful. Look at the view space. 
Okay. Flight ready. Horizon landing service. Request. You are clear to launch. Are we going up or are we going forward? Looks like we're going up. Yes, we are. I want to see the landing gear retract. Once we are out. Fly up. She's heavy. As expected. Oh yeah. Perfect. And the wings themselves into place. So can we uh No there's no VTOL. like to do when I am on Olisar, I like to put or when I'm uh, on the planet, I like to put Olisar as a navigation because that will give you the uh, fastest route out from the planet but Olisar is straight up the uh the landing base at all the star or at the horizon so just there we are this will take us out in space the fastest let's put a spin on see how fast she goes i don't expect this to be the fastest ship 150 We are also in a uh, gas planet's gravitational pull, so I don't expect this to go too fast either. And I hate this planet. I really hate this planet. You need to get up to uh, 150 altitude before you can actually use uh, the spool drive, and it's gonna it's gonna drink roughly 30, 30 percent of your fuel so yeah a quarter fuel just to get out of the planet's uh, atmosphere i'm gonna speed this up so i'll uh, see you in a few seconds Okay, and we're back, so we should be within spooling range. Let's take this into quantum drive, see what it look like. looks like. This is going to be a very quick uh, launch, though. If we can... Oh, it's not done yet. Not the fastest uh, quantum drive, but that's okay. We wanted a big ship, this is what you get. There we go. Go to Port Oldesar. Quick trip, alright. But yeah, we did not lose as much fuel as I thought we would. Probably because it's a very big ship. We probably wanna... Hello. I'm contact EDO slow down here, though. 
don't want to crash on your ship. Have a break. Is there a break? I don't know if space break does anything actually. I like that the uh, communication is one of the main default ones. You have to cycle through the menu. See if we can actually land. Please proceed to sign landing bay. We can. I want to see if I can fit one of the ships inside. The other ships. Piscus, more to be exact. Auto landing will kick in. Doesn't look like it, so we're gonna have to take it outside. Maybe now. Good. Did you get it? Landing complete. Done. Enough engines. Not the power on. Probably could have opened the uh, hangar bay from here. Yeah, we're gonna let's see here. Uh medical, we don't want medical. We wanna go yeah, we wanna go through the entire ship. We need to learn the fastest routes. We wanna access the elevator. Probably a faster way though. We wanna go to technical deck? You can probably access this faster from Yeah. There's another elevator. Oh it's actually Did I forget to close it? No, I closed it. Huh. Okay, whatever. I wanna go down to the sub deck. my helmet on I hope yes sir cargo there it is okay so this actually leads we can take this elevator directly up to command deck or we can take the ladder that was in here right yeah service ladder so there's an elevator and a ladder directly up to uh the flight deck, pretty much. Alright, so what we want to do is take out the Piscus. I don't know if this is how you actually do this. I don't know if you can have two ships out at the same time. Otherwise, we're going to have to fly this park it outside somewhere. Actually, come to think of it, the Piscus is probably stored at uh, Olisar. So we're gonna have to wait for a while for that to uh, that to come here.
Alright, let's see. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. I believe we do have one here, but this is the one that came with the package. No. This is the one I have. This is the one that came with the package. So we're gonna claim this. 40 seconds, that's actually it's actually fine. Your insurance claim has been sent. Let's speed this up. Has been moved to our there we go. Facility. Let's get out of Please here. Stop over. To the ASOC we want the normal, system. not the expedition. Retrieve. Be zero. Please so it's both system. here now. With the Piscus. I don't think what if we go back in here. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. That's a B8. And the Carrack? No, it's stored. Right, so we would have to. I hope this works. I'm going to retrieve this. I have no idea how we do this. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Please visit us again. Right, so let's... Let's get out. Oh, hi. Sorry. Didn't mean to disturb you. Ah, oh, I'm lost. Zero. How do I get to B zero though? I'll try this. I have no clue. B ten. Can we not? Yeah, we can. One to two. Zero. We're going to take her out into space and park her. And then... We're going to take the... The small one and retrieve her. And uh, hopefully this works. I have no idea what happens to my ship when I take out another one. Or do you actually need a friend to... No, you can't do that because the ships are stored on my account. So that doesn't work either. If anyone know of a better way to... Uh, actually put your ships inside another ship, let me know. So what we want to do is we want to take... Take this elevator, right? And this was the, uh... Yeah, that's the docking base. So you can get out there fast. Which, that's actually... Can you dock to... Oh, wait. You, maybe this is... I think you can dock to other stations. And then we want to go to habitation deck. then to the bridge.
yeah please let me know in the comments below the fastest way to actually put other ships in your ships but this makes me wonder though because the power was still on but the engines was not so this makes me wonder if this actually was Anyway. Space. Port Polisar. Sure we're not in the way of something. Thank you. Please Back up you. a little bit. Maybe put her between the landing pads. And now we want to take a little spacewalk. Nothing happens, right? We're staying still. I believe we are. Yeah. It's an expensive ship to be uh, toying with. Let's hope this actually works. So what we want to do now is call this elevator. Actually, no, because this... No, we don't want to do that. Yeah, maybe we do, actually. Because we want to open the uh, the hangar bay. And do that from... Uh... So, we open this. Go in here, cryptography deck. Okay, so this uh, should be open now. And if we go outside. It is open. We can walk on the side here. And we're going for a little spacewalk. Wow, I was actually further away than I thought. Oh, okay. I guess we're going. Ah, going for a little spacewalk, guys. Yeah. This is us floating in the sky. Well, not the sky, but okay, this looks weird. I thought they uh, fixed this animation. It's not. We want to go down a little bit so that the landing won't be too rough. Here we go. Coming in for landing. Perfect. Oh boy, I hope this works. I really want the uh, Piscus to be with me. What I'm worried about the most is actually landing it inside. I've never landed a ship inside a ship. That's going to be interesting. Okay, we're here. Putting a ship inside a ship is probably easier than put a uh, vehicle inside a ship. And that I really need help with because I have no idea how to do that. I don't know how to uh, keep your ship 
docked while you take out another vehicle. Well, Let's see if this works then. The we want the Piscus. Retrieve. But yeah, reason why Goodbye. I think it might be automated is because the Piscus actually spawned at the same dock as the Carrick. But yeah, both are out now, so. Ah, uh, two. We want to head to two. Guess maybe if I spawn. If I fly the carrot close enough. And open the uh, hangar. Maybe I can drive a vehicle inside. If I put them at. If I put the carrot. Yeah, guys, I'm going to need a little help with that. You don't want to fly f too fast here. So, uh, what is the best? I would believe front to front. Thank you. This is going to be tough. New auto land? No auto land. I don't even know. Looking good so far? Uh oh. Easy. And we're down. We're down. We're actually down. Let's see if we can find the... Uh... That's the engine we want to completely shut down. Where's the uh, shutdown button? All systems offline. It may not be dead sensor, but... We did it. We landed it. Oh. Yep. Nice. Close. Thank you. Alright. Yeah, so front to front, because then we have the doors. Cool. Okay. Nice, boys. We have our ship in the ship. Very nice. But yeah, what I want to know until the next episode is how do I get a vehicle. How do I take out a vehicle and put it in the ship? Because there, in the package there were a small vehicle as well, which would fit into the front of the ship. And I want to know how. Because I don't think that it's automatic. And I really want to do an episode on that, so please let me know how to do that in the comments below. For now, I'm going to take this one out for a mission. But just an easy mission. But yeah, thank you for watching, guys. This is the, uh, this is the uh, first video of this kind that I do. So uh, it would be much appreciated if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel so I know if you want more uh, spaceship reviews and uh, more uh, Star Citizen videos. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.